Good morning, love bugs. I'm so happy to see you. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, well, welcome back. I'm so honored that you clicked on today's video. And before I jump right in, let me invite you to hit that subscribe button and become part of my love bug family. While you're at it, smash that notification bell and select all so that you can be notified anytime I go live, upload a video, share a short, or lend encouragement on my community tab, which is all done between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you would like to donate to my channel, as I'm not monetized and I'm not sure I ever will become, my donor links are listed at the end of this video and down the description box below. Not required, but much appreciated. Let's hop into today's video, shall we? God does not require us to succeed. He only requires that you try. That was said by Mother Teresa. We live in a world constantly bombarding us with messages of inadequacy. We're told we aren't good enough, successful enough, talented enough, rich enough, mother enough, wife enough, woman enough, or even spiritual enough. These feelings of insufficiency can leave us questioning our worth and our purpose. But here's the truth. In God's eyes, you are enough just as you are. Not because of anything you have done, but because of who God is and how He sees you. From the very beginning, God had a plan for you. You were not created by accident, nor are you here without purpose. The Bible reminds us of this beautiful truth in Psalm 139, 13-14. For you created me in my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully made, fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Every detail of your being was intricately designed by God. He knew who you would become before you were even born. He handcrafted you with love, weaving in purpose and design specifically for you. When you feel like you don't measure up, remember that the creator of the universe, who created the heavens, the moon, the stars, the sun, the trees, the water of the earth, took time to shape you in his image. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God's love for us is not based on our accomplishments or even our failures. His love is unconditional, constant, and unchanging. In fact, Romans 5.8 tells us, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This means that God loved us in our brokenness. He didn't wait for us to be perfect before He sent His Son to redeem us. Jesus died for us while we were still sinners, showing that our worth to God is not based on our performance. You do not have to strive to be enough for God, because Christ, in Christ, you are already enough. You are already enough. We often look at our weaknesses as evidence of our inadequacy. However, in God's kingdom, it's in our weaknesses that His strength shines the brightest. The world may tell you you're not, you're not enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not strong enough. But in God, with Him behind you, you are beautiful and you are strong. You have more strength in you than you can imagine. 2 Corinthians 12.9 reveals this profound truth. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Instead of hiding from your shortcomings, embrace them as opportunities for God's power to be displayed. His grace is sufficient for you, and His strength is made perfect in your weakness. God's ability to use you is not limited by your flaws. He delights in showing His glory through them. This is where many believers fail to show God's glory. Why? Because we're all about we are all about putting the good things on display. Yet we hide our flaws. We hide our vulnerability. We hide our truth. Why? To be accepted by the world. When God has already accepted us for who we are right now in this moment of now. You alone are enough. You have nothing to prove to anybody. That was said by Maya Angelou. 
One of the reasons we feel like we aren't enough is because we allow the world's standards to define us. Society places value on external achievements, appearances, and statuses, but God looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, 7 reminds us, The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. No matter how the world measures you, know that God sees your heart. He values the things that often go unseen, your love, your kindness, humility, and your faithfulness. You are more than enough because you are seen and loved by the one whose opinion truly matters. Here are five daily reminders that you are enough. One, God knows you by name. Isaiah 43.1 tells us, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by the name you are mine. Every day, remind yourself that God knows you, are intimate, knows you intimately and calls you his own. Two, you are a new creation in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 tells us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. Your past mistakes and failures do not define who you are today. In Christ, you are made new. 3. You are chosen and loved. Ephesians 1, 4-5 tells us, For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. In love, He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ. You are chosen by God and loved with an everlasting love. 4. You are more than a conqueror. Romans 8.37 tells us, No, in all these things we are more more than conquerors through Him who loved us. You are not just surviving, you are thriving in Christ's victory. And lastly, God is not finished with you yet. Philippians 1.6 tells us, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God is still working in you. What you see is not enough is part of his greater plan for your life. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside of you that is greater than any obstacle. That was said by Christian D. Larson. You are enough, not because of what you do, but because of who you are in Christ. The world may try to convince you otherwise, but God's truth is what stands forever. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, loved unconditionally, and chosen by God for a purpose. Let go of the need to prove your worth and rest in the assurance that you are enough, just as you are in the eyes of God. Today, I would love to see you walk in the confidence of your identity in Christ, knowing that His grace and love made you more than enough. If this video has brought you any comfort, confidence, or encouragement, all I ask is that you share it with a friend. They say sharing is caring, but how much are you sharing an encouraging word with those you love? Now's your chance. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.